guys, I appreciate you coming, but this is the, the problem I have. That car to me is like the Mona Lisa of hot rods, right? But like the Mona Lisa, the paint is, is coming off with and it's, it's not looking as good as it used to. And we're really trying to figure out how to put this thing back in condition, but keep its authenticity. And we're really struggling with that because, you know, do you restore something? I don't really want to restore it. I want to kind of preserve it, but the paint is really bad. And we took some pictures of it and you can see it. It's cracked, it, it's damaged in a lot of places. And, you know, first of all, I, I don't, what happens if I do nothing? Will that continue to break off and, and, and fall off? Yeah, you'll, you'll continue to see more and more of that. Um, and then pieces will start coming off. So you'll have bigger patches of exposure. The paint that they used on this looks like it was uh, some sort of lacquer years ago and it's been painted over other other paint jobs. I would I would guess that during the era that this was painted, um, it was, probably was a acrylic a lacquer uh, paint job. And you know, without doing some film build testing, we don't know how many. So if I don't do anything, it's just going to eventually get worse, and the paint's going to fall off. Yes, the cracking will will just continue, um, and then it'll get to the point where where the cracked edges will start curling up, and then it'll lose adhesion and come right off. What are my options to try and make this car look exactly the way that it did when the movie was filmed in, in 72? That's a tough, uh, tough question with the technology that's available now, which is much more durable. And then what you're asking is try to get this lacquer look. Those two kind of fly in the face of each other, um, being that lacquer was a low solids material and the newer products are, are higher solids. Um, so that's a challenge there. Uh, not impossible to do, but but certainly a challenge with higher solids materials. And Jim, you guys have done a lot of special things for Hendrick Motorsports on the race cars and whatnot for us. So is there a way of of trying to work with Carl to get something? Because it's really important for me that this car is as it would have been 45 years ago. Yeah, so I'll tell you what we've done with Hendrick Motorsports, and actually Carl has been part of that as well. Uh, whether we've gone into Waterborne products or uh, some of our Chromax Pro products, um, we do test and put some of our new finishes on those race cars. So I think what we're going to have to do is probably tap into Carl here on what he would recommend as he looks at the car, looks at what the substrate's going to look like after we take everything down. And Carl, what, what are some of the challenges that we're going to face? How far do we take that down? Has it got to go all the way? Well, it would have to go all the way because one thing that happens when, when the film cracks, um, it maintains adhesion of all the layers and it'll crack all the way to the bottom. So, so, so it would have to go all the way to bare metal? All the way to bare metal, yes. I, I guess I'm understanding what you're telling me. Look, if I do nothing, the paint's just going to fall off, so this car has to be repainted. Right. Uh, what we have to manage is, is film build. We don't want the film build becoming so large, so thick, that the car looks like plastic. How are we going to do that? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the, 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 we, would, we would manage that through making, making sure that we're not just piling up a, a, a large film build of, of undercoat, for instance, and then just simply carving the car back down. A lot of show cars are done that way, okay? Um, we, would not, we would not go into a, a, a process where we would build up a lot of clear coat, because that'll also take you in that direction of, of a car that when it's done kind of has that plastic that plastic look to it. This car is known because of the stripes. I mean the stripes weren't the best custom paint job ever made but they're really rare to this car and they identify it. How can we accurately duplicate the, the red detail, the stripes on this car? Um, probably the biggest challenge in this is, is hitting the dimensions accurately to the original stripe position. The other thing would be uh, uh, hitting the color position because the, the stripes are not sprayed to hiding. So we don't have a cr true color position. What we've got is a red on top of a white background. When we do race cars, sometimes we do a scan that, that actually you know, we, we can take all those measurements from the body scan. Is there a way of, of scanning you know, between those two different colors to give us the exact dimensions and, and placement of those stripes? Well, certainly we'd want to start there, right, with, with our acquire unit. Yes. to try to get the actual true color of to the white color. itself mm -hmm. to make sure it is exactly what we're looking at now. Uh, and then I think getting into the red, yeah. that acquire may, depending on the width of 
where the color is, we've got to figure out if we can get that camera in there. Certainly the acquire is going to help us on the white. That's no question. That, that's, and that's, what exactly is the acquire? Uh, it's a photo spectrometer and it, it measures color. Uh, but really it is uh, a system designed to imitate real light in a self-contained unit and take multiple shots of the same coating so you get the same color. What are the first things I should, I, I should do as we move forward? Well, the first thing is document the car. You're going to document the condition of the car, the, the placement of the stripes is important. All those details need to be documented. You're going to take an assessment of co a corrosion, okay? You're going to look for rust. And then you're going to disassemble it. It gets down once you get the car apart. Now it's time to strip paint. I'm assuming a car like this we're going to take apart. Yeah, we, uh, we, we want to take it apart because we, we plan on putting new suspension components like ball joints and tie rods. We're not planning on replacing anything, but we are. The things that are, that are worn out, it's our goal to make this car drive and look as it, as it did in the movie. There she is, guys. I'm there it be is. easier to look. Real life. Yeah, <laughs> better than pictures, but you know, you can see it still looks from a distance a lot like it did in the movie. But you know, you can see she's had she's got some battle scars yep. that, that have just really been touched up, not not in a great way. Yep. You have blisters, and without stripping, we'd never we'd never get to the bottom of that. So even though you know we've got crack paint here, crack paint there that we know have to be stripped, the substrate that looks reasonable also is degraded because it's got blisters underneath. Click here to learn more about Exalto's products and click here to follow us behind the scenes as we preserve a real piece of Americana graffiti.